child of God, the Lord have made known to you already. He said, Behold, all those who are incensed against you, he says, you will be disappointed and confounded. All those who are incensed against you, dear child of God, he said, they would be disappointed. He said, they would be confounded. Those who strive with you, dear child of God, he said, they would be as nothing. They would all perish. Believe the word of God today. For those who have been confronting your life, those who have been planning an attack against your life, dear child of God, they would be disappointed in the mighty name of Jesus. He said he disappointed the plans, the evil plans of the crafty. He said that their hands were not able to carry out their enterprise. Dear child of God, those who have planned to do you evil, they would fail in the mighty name of Jesus. Those who have planned against your family, saying you shall all be wiped out, they would fail in the mighty name of Jesus. Those who have said you will not be promoted, dear child of God, they would fail. They shall be disappointed. They shall all be confounded together in the mighty name of Jesus. Those who strive against your life, dear child of God, he said they will be as nothing. They would perish. Believe the word of God. God will make them insignificant in the mighty name of Jesus. He had said already that those who were against you, he said it will be a non-existent thing. Believe God because every one of them will vanish from you in the mighty name of Jesus. That time has come for God to unleash his wrath and every one of them shall be dealt with in the mighty name of Jesus. Those who were pursuing God's people to destroy them, God arose and fought against them and they were all destroyed. None of them, dear child of God, none of them stood. None of them would be able to stand against you anymore in the mighty name of Jesus. Such as God brought victory to Jehoshaphat that he woke up and saw that every one of his enemies were already consumed. Those that said he would not make progress in life, every one of them were down. Dear child of God, those plotting your downfall, he said they would be disappointed the way God disappointed Amon and made sure the plans he had against Esther, the plans he had against the people of God, the plans he had against Mordecai did not come to pass. Dear child of God, this is how God would disappoint them in the mighty name of Jesus. They may have written it out saying this is the day we will strike. This is the day we will launch an attack against you. Dear child of God, they would not be able to see that day because God would have dealt with each and every one of them in the mighty name of Jesus. He said, you would have victory. Dear child of God, believe it and personalize it. Call your name and say, I will have victory. I will have victory all the way in the mighty name of Jesus. They will not be able to succeed against me. They would not be able to defeat me. You see, I promise, he said he is with you, and no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. Dear child of God, I don't know what they are planning, but it shall fail in the mighty name of Jesus. As long as it is not good, as long as it is not something that would be beneficial to you, dear child of God, it shall fail in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He said that their hands were not able to carry out their enterprise. Dear child of God, they will not be able to succeed against your life. They will not be able to destroy you in the mighty name of Jesus. He said truly, all those who are angry with you will be made low and put to shame. My God, he said they will be put to shame. Dear child of God, they would all be put to shame. Those enemies that wanted you destroyed, he said certainly they would be ashamed. Dear child of God, nothing shall by any means hurt you. He said he had given you power to trample upon snakes and scorpions. And he said nothing shall by any means or to you. Hold on to this word, dear child of God, and believe it with the whole of your heart that nothing they are doing would be able to succeed against your life. He said those who are angry with you, yes, you have been asking yourself, what have I done to them that they are angry with me, that they have been fighting against me, that they have been standing in the way of my breakthrough today? The Lord is saying, all of their evil plans, all the attacks that they have been staging against your life, none of them will come to fusion. None of them 
would succeed. None of them would materialize in the mighty name of Jesus. God will make sure they'll be exposed and God will make sure they'll be disgraced in the mighty name of Jesus. And if they refuse to stop, dear child of God, it would return back to their head. He said their violent dealings would return back to their head because God will make sure everything that they have intended, yes, to do against you and against your family shall not come to pass, shall not succeed, and they will be the one carrying it with their own head. Dear child of God, he said it would return back to them. They would be the one eating of the fruit of their evil labors. Dear child of God, believe the word of God. They will try, but they will not triumph. Dear child of God, they will try. They will make all of the attempts that they want to make against your life, but they will not triumph in the mighty name of Jesus. And that is because he that is with you is greater than them all. He that is in you is greater than them all. Dear child of God, you are of God and he had promised to protect you and he will keep you protected in the mighty name of Jesus. And he said to them, every one of them shall be disgraced. They would be put to shame. He says, look, all who are enraged at you, he says, will be put to shame and disgraced. He says, those who contend with you, he says, will all die. This is the word of God. He says, if they refuse to stop, every one of them shall be consumed. He said, every one of them shall perish. Dear child of God, you will look for them and you will not find them anymore because God would have dealt with them in the mighty name of Jesus. He said, have no fear, have no fear, for I will be your helper, the God that right in the heavens. Yes, he said, he is your help and he will come through for you in the mighty name of Jesus. He would war against them, he will fight against them and he would discomfit each and every one of them. He says, for I, the Lord your God, have taken your right hand in mine, saying to you, have no fear, I will be your helper. Dear child of God, God will help you. God will see you through until you succeed, until you overcome all the evil plans of the enemies in the mighty name of Jesus. Do not be afraid of all the things that they have said they will do against your life, for none of them will come to pass. Dear child of God, none of them will succeed against you in the mighty name of Jesus. He had promised to give you victories. Dear child of God, he had promised to uplift you. Everyone planning to pull you down. Everyone planning to bring you down. Dear child of God, they would not be able to succeed. For he said, I, Yahweh, I, your God, will hold your right hand, saying to you, don't be afraid, for I will help you. Dear child of God, you may look little today, but God will make you exceedingly great in the mighty name of Jesus. You will be mightier than them all because God will help you. He will see you through until you become the victorious one in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hold on to God. Hold on to the words that he had promised you, dear child of God, for he shall bring every word he has said unto you to pass in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will not be defeated, dear child of God, and your expectations shall not be cut short in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Dear child of God, your expectations will not be cut short. In the mighty name of Jesus, God will continually lift your eye. God will be gracious unto you and God will do you well in Jesus' mighty name. And all those who have been waiting to see you fail, dear child of God, all those who have been waiting to see you cry, all those who have been waiting to see you mourn, every one of them shall be disgraced. Every one of them shall be confounded. Every one of them shall be put to shame in the mighty name of Jesus. And he said, if they refuse to stop attacking you, he said they would all perish. They would all be put to shame. And this is how you would have your victories. Dear child of God, your victories sure. Dear child of God, your victories is sure. Your victory is sure. And nothing the enemies are planning against your life would ever succeed in the mighty name of Jesus. Guess it. For you shall testify of the victories that the Lord had promised and intended to do for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It will make it happen. All of their evil plot shall be put to shame. All of their evil plot, dear child of God, shall fail and they shall be put to shame 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It will give you a testimony. It will give you a testimony. Dear child of God, he would give you a testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. He will deliver you from the evil plotters and it will cause you to have rest in the land of the living in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I call it on for it is settled and you shall forever overcome in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you and shalom.